Uh, this uh, UBI uh, Netherlands is also uh, quite successful. Uh, hundred fourteen hundred dollars they are giving away, and something like this. Uh, there are about twenty two countries uh, practiced or practicing UBI. It's not just one two companies, and also the LA mayor is now trying to give UBI and some. Uh, 10 uh, large cities are trying to give uh, UBI. Uh, so Koreans who left uh, uh, LA and now returning to LA in order to get uh, basic income. You know, if you get the basic income, you don't have to do anything. You get supported by the government. India is ready for universal income. Pros and cons, you know. Four, pros and uh, poverty and vulnerability reduction, more choice to citizens on spending, yeah, better targeting of aid, insurance against shocks, against people do not like UBI, gender disparity, uh, whatever, cons conspicuous spending, they will just, they will just spend could put stress on banking system and stuff like that. So uh, we should not give away, we can't give away, we won't give away, or <laughs> something like all these ideas uh, came out. Okay, precision fermentation. This is also very important, cultured meat. Now we will not have uh, sort of um, farming, okay? Uh, pigs farming, also cow farming, and all this will disappear. This is not my saying. It's uh, Tony Seba. Precision fermentation will take over. It says La Penanta University Technology uh, also produced rice. Okay, this is a bio reactor, and they produce rice from here. Uh, they can produce rice then you don't have to harvest the rice, you don't have to plant the rice paddies, whatever. <laughs> this is a Juha Pekka, principal scientist AVTT, Finland, okay? They produce. The food from electricity team says that the process has the potential to be 10 times more energy efficient than growing crops. Uh, okay, so it will be a lot cheaper, 10 times cheaper. And also, this is uh, Rethink X, Tony Seba's Rethink X. And you used to produce alcohol here, fermentation, but you can produce now uh, artificial fermentation with uh, meat, okay, meat. Uh, that is called uh, precision fermentation meat. This is a... Uh, Impossible Burger. You may have tried Impossible Burger. I tried Impossible Burger. Precision fermentation uh, produced meat. Impossible Burger. Uh, this is basically plant-based. Okay, plant-based. Uh, they can also produce uh, whatever. All this Finnish research project created a batch of a single-cell protein using just electricity, water, carbon dioxide, and microbes. Okay, microbes become bigger and bigger so that with the uh, whatever carbon water electricity bigger and bigger and a portable lab can be carried out while we are hesitant to call it food in its current state the stuff is edible okay nutritious enough to be used for cooking livestock feed okay here this is a rice they produce rice from bioreactor and uh, this is a precision fermentation kit with a computer. And this is a bioreactor. It gives all the information here and uh, some material bios. Uh, okay. Uh, microbes. Okay. So microbes and all this goes in here with the electricity and water. <laughs> it produces meat, rice, tofu, whatever. So you don't have to have uh, all these land with uh, planting rice, you know, all those rice paddies. You don't need to. So precision fermentation with the <laughs> bacon <laughs> now. Uh, you can produce all kinds of meat substitute. Impossible Burger came out. Burger 2.0. I 
Tasty, Impossible Burger, uh, San Francisco Airport in uh, 2018. Impossible Burger. They, they sold Impossible Burger and I bought it. Got roadside. And it was fifteen eighty one, you know, a little bit, a little bit expensive, but double uh, than the normal burger. But I was tasting; oh, it was normal, a little bit salty, uh, a little bit chubby, but uh, okay, it was very nice. This is a Memphis meat. This is a, a skin uh, produced. Uh, Okay, this is a family farm, okay, produced food, uh, this university, completed university research biology, all this, Memphis meat, okay, lab-grown meat, cultured meat, okay, cultured meat, cultured chicken. You don't have to have a chicken and kill the chicken and get the blood out and all this. <laughs> it's incredible. You grow your meat. In the lab, lab grown meat, lab grown meat. Okay, Memphis Meat. That's the company, and uh, there are many, many companies cultured meat. And who invested the most? Bill Gates, Richard Branson, Virgin, Jack Welch, and all these. Uh, these are the uh, cultured meat. Cultured meat. This guy Mark Post from uh, Maastricht University in Netherlands. Uh, he's been doing this for thirty-one years. <laughs> yeah. This is how you grow in the lab and it becomes within a week this much. And if you grow meat, hamburger meat like this, you don't have to have, a, a, you know, half of the land of Australia. Australia is a hundred times bigger than Korea and uh, they have half of the land for uh, cows and <laughs> Uh, livestock okay livestock industry will go away livestock industry will not last because it will be a lot cheaper to produce in the lab grown meat in the lab okay in the lab lab grown meat was produced by now harvard university okay rabbit lab grown rabbit cow muscle cells are produced this is the uh, harvard university uh, phd uh, in science and nature and cultured meat, cultured meat are sold, cultured meat, cultured meat. Now they are selling it where? Beyond the beef in Subway. Subway, you can buy all these cultured meat. Or uh, you can have uh, precision fermentation like uh, meat plant-based. Okay, plant-based. This is made with motif, plant-based meat, meat. It's not regular meat made with the motif, redefine meat and all that. So many companies now doing uh, cultured meat. Rethinking humanity, okay, very quickly. Smartphone, sort of uh, how the smartphone disrupt the oil industry. Oil industry will be disappearing in 10 years. Smartphones are bringing so much information and so much uh, knowledge, technology together to have uh, solar. He says that solar and the wind and batteries will be it. You know, SWB is our next energy. And this is the uh, yellow green taxi dying while Uber is coming up so much. Eh? Eh, this is a 19. 2019, last year, last year, Uber, Lyft, Juno, all these sort of killed the taxi industry. Taxi industry just died. And the average price of a new car uh, is uh, going down so much. And this is a sort of, a, you know, age of survival, age of extraction. Uh, we used to extract oil from the you know land from the land we extract rice from the land we extract uh sort of cows and you know whatever from the land but the extraction era is gone now age of freedom comes 
so that when we extract, it costs a lot of money. But age of freedom, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It costs just virtually nothing. So it will become uh, these energies very cheap. Transport very, very cheap. Information also cheap. Food will be cheap. Materials will be very cheap. Extraction era to become creation era, okay? If you create in a factory, you do not have to have a climate crisis, climate change, and all these uh, carbon uh, extraction. So within 10 years, things will be happening. So food extraction to creation. Uh, if you create food like meat in the factory, in the bioreactor and all this, we will be living in a abundant era. Things will be so abundant, you don't have to so really worry about, okay? That's what it says. Things will be very cheap. It will be abundant era, 19, I mean 2030. 20 by 2030, like living cost will become $300 in the United States. It's not my saying, it's uh, Tony Seva, Stanford University says. If you have a $300, $400, you can live in the United States, housing cheap, uh, clothes very cheap, and uh, food are very cheap. That's what will happen. Okay. Hyperloop, very quickly. High-speed maglev train going through vac vacuum tunnel because it's a vacuum you don't need a uh, energy you don't need the gas you don't need the electricity so hyperloop will be very cheap will be very very cheap one hundredth of the airplane cost in the beginning it will be expensive but hyperloop is so fast look at the high high speed it's gone now already right high speed uh maglev train going through vacuum tunnel vacuum tunnel uh, it's been built it's been about like 18 years now but uh, virgin boarded hyper one hyperloop one mumbai pune 25 minutes and they are building uh, this is a uh, uh, hyperloop pod now this is hyperloop pod uh, Hyperloop 1, Virgin 2030, Virgin is saying that they are going to uh, bring the world within a day sort of living sort of, uh, you know, activities. You can go from here to there within a day with a Hyperloop 1. This means the shipbuilding dying shipbuilding you carry something you know in the ocean for three months that's ridiculous it will take only one day from korea down to uh, south africa south america or wherever uh south saudi arabia uh, at the moment uh around 30 some 40 countries are now joining in virgin hyperloop Virgin Hyperloop has, uh, you know, Kuwaiti, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Muscat, uh, Oman, Nevada, LA, Las Vegas is now connecting, uh, is about to connect. Estonia, Finland takes eight minutes. Seoul to Busan takes 15 minutes. That's a Hyperloop, okay? Hyperloop, Hyperloop, Hyperloop is very, it's not uh, uh, steel. This is a uh, um, graphene very light so that it takes only one sort of uh, 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 lengthy sort of line uh, it costs half of the what uh, what the ktx uh, production costs this all came about from the brain of elon musk and i was uh, sort of in the uh, train with a chairman, Daryl Oster of ET3. This is a competitor of uh, Hyperloop. And you are in it, and it is very sort of narrow, but these will become all um, screens. So it's an uh, uh, amazing, amazing era we are living. Jetpack aviation. You can fly over Jetpack. I met him. Uh, jetpack Aviation. I was uh, with the Australian government and uh, uh, I saw him. Uh, okay, uh, I 
attended his uh, sort of briefing session <laughs> with a lot of people. Uh, you can fly, you can fly, okay. In Seoul, it takes only eight minutes to fly from here to there, you know, <laughs> so, so you can have so many different uh, ideas of uh, future. Future mega trends, Jetpack Aviation, okay. This is the guy, David Mayman, who established this company called uh, Jetpack. Jetpack Aviation. Now, with this, uh, you can go down, go up, turn around, <laughs> all this. It takes only eight minutes from here to there, here to there in Seoul. So you don't have to take a taxi and wait within a, you know, wait two hours in a taxi. It's <laughs> okay, uh, autonomous vehicles saying again, you know, autonomous vehicles. So many uh, autonomous vehicles are now AV, we just call it AV. EV is an uh, electric car. Finally, air taxis, drone taxis, flying cars. Now, cars are flying. The, the man with the golden, uh, the man with the golden gun and the uh, James Bond film. When the traffic jam comes, uh, he, he lifts uh, his uh, wing <laughs> to run. <laughs> okay, to run. That was a film though, right? But uh, in uh, 2017, three years ago, Dubai approved Ehang to fly, okay? Government approved Ehang to fly. There are so many now flying taxis or air taxis or drone taxis or drone uh, planes. DR7, Joby Aviation has a five seat. This is a five-seater, joint air mobility. Uh, this is a five-seater, okay. Kitty Hawk, this is a two-seater, two-person. Airbus, Airbus is a big company, and four seats. And this is a six-seat, this is big. This is to uh, sort of um, rescue people from the uh, heavy sort of traffic area. This is uh, New York. Okay, uh, runs, it uh, flies, it, it runs as a car, so a flying car, okay. And uh, Volohov, uh, there's a guy here uh, flying, this is a prince. Okay, Volohov, riding Volohov prince, uh, Ihang, and the prince, this is Ihang, and first came, it was only one seat. One person can go in, now two-seater, and Airbus, pop-up Airbus flies and also run as a car okay pop up airbus uh came out 2017 mm? and so many uh, like sky car and this is a lilium this is a ac a person can go in this is a 50 seater just experimenting uh so that uh if it becomes a 100 seater Airplane, you do not have to go to an airport, two hours airport, waiting for two more hours. Uh, because this one is a VTOL, vertical lifting, vertical landing. Uh, so VTOL, you don't have to have a, a large sort of runways, okay? No runways. Lilium, daddy and daughter goes out to take the Lilium to fly, okay? Ride sharing. Therefore, People will ride 2025 and 2030 definitely people will ride rather than drive. Okay, drive. It's so slow. Driving is so slow. It's uh, 10 times faster flying. And you can have uh, so many different lanes. If you have a 16 lane, if you're trying to get a 16 lane here, here, then uh, uh, what you have, you have to destroy this building, that building, all this. <laughs> but there's a lot more space in the sky, okay? Lane, first lane, second lane, third lane, third lane. <laughs> so many lanes that you can have, right? And also these are all having the chips to avoid collision, okay? You avoid accidents. So it doesn't have all the accidents that you are thinking of. Uh, okay, mega trends. Uh, I am showing you, and you can think about all these uh, life changes 
uh, big companies uh, change, trying to change the world and you can decide how to use this as a design. Social design, city design, interior designs and uh, the things that you are now studying. Thank you very much. Bye.